G'day, I'm Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv and in this video we are going to look at touch scrolling on uh, data aware controls, in particular grids. Uh, and I have here a Windows 8.1 tablet, uh, it's a little 7 inch device, um, so you have Bay Trail T, 2 gig of RAM, uh, 32 gig of storage, so nothing particularly fancy but a nice cheap and expensive device and um, we're going to look at how sort of VCL data where controls scroll um, uh, or not, as the case may be. So we'll write a little test application and then we'll um, demonstrate the scrolling. So let's get on to that. So let's start with a new VCL forms application and throw a page control on there or PC grids. I had a new tab and the first um, sort of data aware grid we're going to use is a standard DB grid and let's go to page control and align that to client so that it fills the entire form and throw our DB grid on there and of course we're going to need some data to go with that Sorry, client data set. And if I spell fish correctly, it would help. It actually makes a little difference. But... And we'll load from the classic bio life table in this, the uh, sample data. And of course, we need a data source, which we need to hook up to our data set and go to our grid. So there's our, our first uh, data aware grid. Uh, let's create a list view. We'll call it uh, LV fish. And we come down to its view style and make it a, uh, oops, a report. And align that to client. And we'll need to add some columns, so I'll just add a bunch. And we want to bind those, uh, so we'll go bind visually and uh, item captioned, that species number or not. Uh, so we've, we've bound a number of columns using the visual live bindings and we can do a similar thing to a string grid and if I just right click on that and go link to new control T string grid um, and Now we're doing fish. And let's shove all that onto the appropriate parent and align that client. Uh, also throw a list box on there. And in fact, um, bind our common name to a list box. Uh, there we go. Um, call LB fish. And again, that's. Not where we want it. Um, hard to manage this on a such a low resolution screen. I'll just drag and drop that to the appropriate tab sheet and align that client. And currently its selected value is 
uh, common name, so I'll just uh, remove that link and hook item text up to the common name. And the last one I'll add, add uh, is a CX grid or Express Quantum grid. And I'll align that client as well. And link it up. So there's our uh, very basic application written. So if we have a look at our uh, build configuration, you see I've uh, created a connection to mouse, which is the name of my um, tablet. And if we deploy that, it should uh, fire up on the remote app debugger. And we'll just uh, swap machines back to this one, and hopefully it should pop up. Any second now, there we go. So there's a remote app debugger uh, starting. And it should be uh, busily uh, deploying. There we go, and it started. Come back. Oops. Here we go. So um, we start with the uh, DB grid. Now I'll use my finger to try and scroll, and I'm wiggling it around, and DB grids don't seem to support. Uh, finger scrolling at all. But if I come across to the list view and uh, scroll up and down, it works reasonably well. It's not not perfect. Um, likewise, the string grid, um, the scrolling is quite effective. Um, it seems to work and then stop working, and what have you. It's not not perfect. It works okay. Likewise, the list box um, doesn't quite work as expected. But our Express Quantum Grid, um, which is, uh, works pretty much perfectly uh, with the finger scrolling. And uh, what I'll do is I'll also go over to the webcam and demonstrate that again uh, so you can see it running on the device. So I shall just hold up the device like so. And we'll see, I think my finger, oops. Again, I'll stand up. So there is the CX grid, and that scrolls quite nicely. DB grid, no scrolling at all. Our list view scrolls reasonably well. Uh, likewise, the string grid and list box um, is a bit, bit fiddly, but certainly the um, uh, CX grid look, works um, pretty much perfectly, uh, and so that's pretty much what I wanted to, de to demonstrate. The CX grid, or Express Quantum Grid, is a third-party control which you need to buy from uh, devexpress.com. Um, you can uh, grab a free trial, but um, get other products and then the VCL, and you'll find it there. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, it's a sort of part of my. Uh, experiments in making touch-friendly VCL applications. I'm sort of uh, uh, working on a, a legacy application at the moment, which is sort of uh, tabletizing. So I hope that was useful. Uh, I'm Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv.